you are about to embark on an experience of deep relaxation that i hope will help you to get in touch with your own inner peace the real you every human being longs for true and lasting happiness the path or means through which he or she attempts to find it varies according to the level of the individual's development true and lasting peace and happiness can only be attained through the knowledge of the permanent or divine which is the indweller of all beings and the source of all life it has been given such names as the self nature god cosmic consciousness and so on the body emotions and intellect must be developed to a level in which they function healthfully and in perfect harmony with each other only then can one live a happy and peaceful life and use them as tools to transcend limitations and to experience the divine to experience this inner peace the body the breath and the mind must all be in harmony and by keeping your thoughts in the here and now your awareness will become more focused and you will begin to feel more peaceful deep relaxation is a simple yet highly effective technique for putting the body breath and mind in a state of deep relaxation this is done in a natural progression through alternately tensing and relaxing all the muscle groups of the body as body becomes more relaxed the breath and the mind also become more tranquil allowing you to sink deeper and deeper into your natural state of inner peace to prepare for this profound relaxation experience you will need to find a clean and quiet place where you can leave all your cares and concerns behind lie down on your back on a comfortable but firm mat or on your own bed you are going to have a most beautiful experience a very deep relaxation lying on your back have your legs about a foot apart let your arms be relaxed and about a foot away from your sides with the palms facing toward the ceiling you may now shift your body slightly until you find the position that is absolutely comfortable and most restful for you This is a form of relaxation and meditation. Now, close your eyes and listen carefully to my instructions. These instructions are only to guide to help you relax and focus your awareness. You will purposely be tensing and relaxing each part of the body. you will find that you receive maximum benefit from this if you put all your attention into each part of the body as you tense and relax it when i tell you to raise a part of your body for example your right arm please raise it slightly perhaps 6 inches or less then when i tell you to release just let that part fall to the floor as if it were attached to a string held from above and the string had just been cut let's begin
First, have a few slow deep breaths. Every time you inhale, feel that you are filling your body with total peace and tranquility. Each time you exhale, feel that you are blowing out all the tension in your body and mind. Inhale fresh cool air. Exhale hot tense air. Now bring your total awareness to the right leg. Inhale deeply. Tense every muscle in the right leg. Raise it a few inches. Hold and tense a little more. And release. Good. Now gently roll the leg from side to side and then leave it relaxed. Just forget the right leg completely. Good. Now bring your awareness to the left leg. Inhale, tensing the leg. Lift it slightly. Hold it tight there. Tighter still. And release. Now gently roll it from side to side a few times and leave it relaxed. Now there is no tension anywhere from the hips down to your toes. Become aware of the buttocks. Tense them. Inhale and hold the breath while tensing. Keep tensing when I say to release. Let the tension in your buttocks and your inhalation also be suddenly released. Release. Good. Now, think of the abdominal area. Take a deep breath in. Imagine that your stomach is like a balloon. Fill it with air and let it expand to its limit. Hold the breath. And when I tell you to release it, let the air burst out through the mouth. Now, release. Very good. Now come to the chest area. This time, inhale and fill up the chest. Let your chest expand as much as possible. Hold the breath and release. Good. Let's move on to the arms. Think of the right arm. Stretch out the right arm. Spread out the fingers of your right hand. Tense. Now make the right hand into a fist. Make it really tight. Inhale and raise the arm slightly. And release. Now gently roll the right arm from side to side and then with the palm facing the ceiling, let it be. Bring your awareness to the left arm. Stretch out the left arm. Spread out the fingers of your left hand. Now make the hand into a fist. Make it really tight. Inhale and raise the arm slightly. And release. Now gently roll the left arm from side to side and then with the palm facing the ceiling, let it be. Become aware of your shoulders. Tighten your shoulders without moving any other part of the body. 
let the shoulders be lifted and pulled towards your ears. Hold them tensed and tight. Release. Once again, lift your shoulders and squeeze them tightly. Release. That's good. Now, let's come to the neck area. Slightly roll the head to the right and then slowly to the left. Do this a few times and as you roll the head, imagine that you are relaxing each and every muscle in your neck. Gently rolling and now leave your neck relaxed and head centered. Let's relax the facial muscles. First, open your mouth slightly and stretch the jaw from side to side. Open and close the lower jaw and move it around. And now, leave it relaxed. Press the lips together tightly and relax. Now, tense and wrinkle the nose and relax. Now close the eyes and tightly squeeze your eyes and forehead. Relax. We will relax all these muscles once more by now tightening all the muscles in your face, squeezing them into a tight prone face. Squeeze more and relax. That's it. We have literally relaxed all the muscles of the body. Let's check once more for any remaining tension. Without moving any part of the body, just mentally review each part, starting from the toes and moving upward, part by part. Through the lower legs and now the upper legs. If you become aware of any tension in any part, mentally repeat the word relax and feel the tension slip away. Good. Now we will continue by mentally checking the buttocks, the abdomen, the chest, the lower back, the upper back. Now checking the hands and the arms, the shoulders and the back of the neck, the face and finally the top of the head. The entire body is now completely relaxed. Your muscles are so relaxed that they may not even want to move. This is the state of deep relaxation. Take this moment to experience how totally relaxed and peaceful your body feels.
because of the total relaxation of the body you do not need to breathe heavily your breathing is in fact very shallow so simply become aware of the breath see how calm it is as it flows in and out gently and rhythmically now you have forgotten the body and are thinking of the breath now forget even the breath you are entering an even deeper state of relaxation bring your awareness now to the mind you will see that even the mind is very calm and quiet just allow the mind to rest let the mind sink into a still deeper state of rest and peace if any thoughts come that try and pull you from the here and now do not get involved with them watch them come and watch them go as the mind rests the breath is calm and the body totally relaxed you are able to transcend the body breath and mind now you are in a transcendental state of profound peace and relaxation realize that this peace that you are now experiencing as you sink deeper 
still into total tranquility is your true nature you are not the body not the breath nor the mind you are only an observer and you possess the body breath and mind these are your vehicles and instruments and you make use of them in your daily life of dedication in service to the divine remain in your true nature for a while enjoy this supreme peace this is the real you this is self realization
Now, allow your mind to think of the breath. The entire body and mind have listened to you and they are totally relaxed. This is the best possible opportunity for the body and mind to be healed. They will be rested, revitalized, rejuvenated and rebuilt now. Proper rest and relaxation are the best remedies for rejuvenation and healing. As you observe this phenomena of how you can be a witness of the body and mind, you are able to know who you are, that divinity, the self that transcends the body and mind. You can continue to experience the reality of the self even after the body and mind come out of this deep state of relaxation. That means that you will retain this experience of who you are and you will be able to witness the body, mind and emotions as your instruments. You are the eternal witness. When the mind is unhappy, you are not affected by it. If the body is ill, you are not affected by it. In your waking state, even in the midst of all your daily activities, you are retaining this awareness that you are the witness. That way, you are able to rise above all situations, all emotions, all upsets in life. You will retain this awareness of who you are. Now, you feel a sincere desire to make use of the body and mind in a new way. As you come out of this state of relaxation, you will retain this experience of inner peace. The body and mind will feel totally new, totally fresh and filled with health and vitality. Notice that your breathing is very, very slow. Now, begin to make the breath a little deeper. Slowly inhale and exhale, becoming more and more conscious of the breath. Make the breathing deeper still. As you inhale, feel that fresh energy, vital energy is flowing all through the veins, all through your body, from head to foot. This energy is energizing and awakening the entire body part by part. As the energy flows, you will begin to feel a slight tingling sensation all over the face and then through the torso. Feel it moving through the arms feel the entire body begin to be awakened by this flow of fresh energy. Allow the energy to flow into your legs. You are able to feel the fresh energy flowing and surging all over the body. You can gently begin to move the body by stretching gently. Feel the freshness and vitality of the body. You can now slowly and gently get up and face the day with a renewed sense of peace and joy, love and light.
ओम शांति 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 पीस पीस peace be unto all hari om you are happiness personified who will be the happiest person the one who brings happiness to others that means your body should be well balanced under all conditions real bliss is maintaining equanimity of mind at all times at all places and at all circumstances no one ever gives you happiness but only reflects your own inner happiness want not and waste not your happiness you are happiness personified you are supreme bliss you are joy you are the image of happiness If you are contented, your daily needs will be met. All things will come to you. To have maximum and endless joy, learn to be non-attached. Those who are of a joyful spirit are called spiritual people. Happiness does not come from outside you. Your mind and body continue to go through some changes. but knowing doesn't change your peaceful nature is never affected by external things only when you forget and identify yourself with the body or the mind do the clouds come and block your view of the sun the sun is always shining where the clouds are there or not the mind may pass through some of these cloudy periods but as the knower you can enjoy the show enjoy the mind and its play have an easeful body what is the sign of a healthy person you are happy everywhere you are relaxed everywhere you are at ease you are in peace within and without you hate none you dislike none total love universal love emanates from you there is no tension anywhere no stress anywhere no friction anywhere that is the sign of being healthy a healthy person doesn't hurt anybody you are not afraid of anybody you don't have fear and you don't cause fear A healthy person emits a healthy, loving, pure vibrations. The human body is a temple. Keep it strong and supple. Treat it gently. Live in a way that makes your body light and healthy. The body is a vehicle of divine expression, as are all forms of creation. to become a good instrument of the divine maintain your health have an easeful body peaceful mind and a useful life you can master your own body and mind by achieving self mastery you become the master of everything you can heal your body just through your thinking every one of your thoughts has a certain power on your body the actions of the mind are clearly visible in certain areas if you think that you are sick you are surely going to be sick think that you are healthy and you are healthy remember you become what you think it is simple think well you become well you can build a divine body with divine ideas healing is a divine thing think very well and others also become well you can send healing energy or prana to others you can send a spiritual charge by your touch if you are really charged with that prana 
you can send it long distance by thought alone love knows only one way traffic love 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 for the sake of love because loving makes you happy that happiness cannot be taken away by anybody pouring love on hate is like pouring water on fire the heart has a tendency to melt just allow it to melt it is the easiest way to approach god become a baby in the arms of the mother compassion understanding affection love dedication everything comes from the heart when you meditate on the heart imagine that god is there making your heart beat he himself is the beat it is his movement within you the heart must pray not the lips nor the head always develop the heart let the heart always be there the sacred heart is a secret heart if you love god more you draw him more by chanting or repeating god's name your emotion becomes devotion as your love for god develops you come to see and love yourself which is also your neighbor's self and which is god so your love for god also becomes love for your neighbor no pain no gain if the pain in our lives is properly understood it will never frighten us we will even welcome it saying come on pain help me refine me life is a play it is to enjoy just take everything as play all this coming going meeting eating welcoming sending off taking birth saying good night goodbye it's all for fun sometimes you may forget this and take the life seriously when you are really getting caught at least at that point you can sit back and say to yourself it is all for fun know that pleasure and pain come together they are part of the world your happiness is something that is above pleasure and pain sorrow is nothing but what you borrow the cause of our suffering is our wrong approach nobody can cause us difficulty without god's will these people are simply acting as instruments of god he uses them to give us some experience it is all for our education and for our benefit if we think that way we won't project a negative vibration toward the people we feel are causing us difficulty instead if you treat that person as an instrument of god feeling god is doing something to me through that person but that person is beautiful then there is no negative feeling no negative person then it is easy to love nature is here to give you experience and ultimately to liberate you from its bondage problems help us develop our inner resources it is through problems that we learn we should never expect a smooth problem free world in such a world there would be no learning or growing if you know the purpose of suffering to burn your ego you will even rejoice in it you heat your mind and body to transform it burning out the undesirable impurities know that you are being refined once you become well roasted by the experience in the world you will be unattached and say now i am happy 
you need adversity to know the truth know that you are going to control your ego then you will enjoy even the difficulties and the failures arise awake you can free yourself from egoism even in the intensity enjoy yourself be playful and relaxed take it easy always remember your goal the goal is to realize your true nature to realize your peace your happiness your godliness you are the image of god always remember your goal if you understand the goal and dedicate yourself to achieving it you won't get disheartened by failures the very interest in achieving the goal will take you to it your spiritual practice is the master key to open everything health wealth strength everything can be opened with it all your practices can be joyful celebrations so take it easy but don't be lazy it is very important to find the golden medium go to your capacity but never overdo there are two voices in you the lower self and the higher self if you can learn to hear the voice of your higher self then you can follow what it says you will enjoy the journey it takes you on because growing is natural not painful remember the pure self doesn't have to become happy it is happiness itself your practices are not done to bring you happiness or peace but to prevent the peace that is your true nature from being disturbed everything worthwhile takes its own time if you attempt perfection in one day you are not going to achieve much of anything this applies especially to developing the spiritual force the will power begin with little things daily and one day you will be doing things that months back you would have thought impossible that is the way to develop your will every failure must be a stepping stone for your further success use all the failures as stepping stones one after another then they are helpful experiences the entire nature is the omnipresent guru draw silent lessons from all around you forget the past don't worry about the future live in the golden present peace is within a tranquil mind is like a beautiful mirror it reflects the image of god in you peace is the nature of god i see god as peace god has no form he has no other name he is all peaceful he is all serenity that peace is to be felt it is to be experienced within oneself peace and joy is our goal whatever you do do it for that the real god the absolute god the cosmic god who is being searched for by one and all is that peace and joy when you are in peace you are in god you are with god when you disturb your peace you are denying the god within you nothing from outside can give you peace because peace is there in you always The ultimate quest of the entire world is peace. Only in peace do we have joy. Each and every individual is a part of the whole. Whatever change we want to happen outside should happen within. 
your first duty is to find the peace within without peace in the mind we can't give peace to the world outside you are peace personified you are happiness personified the musk deer does not realize that the musk fragrance comes from within itself like the deer we run here and there searching for the peace which is always within us you have the strength courage and capacity to experience the peace and joy within and to share it with everyone i feel so easeful and peaceful i never become depressed or excited i have no worries that's my great wealth peace is my god peace is my god he is in me he is everywhere he is all peaceful he is all serenity he is to be felt and experienced within oneself let us all know that there is a vast ocean of consciousness which we call god everything is god he did not make the world out of anything but out of himself the universe is full of life you can see the life force constantly everything is living without god not even a speck of dust moves give yourself unto god become humble and selfless and then you will get a glimpse of his joy if you taste that joy even once in your lifetime you will know that it's for that joy that we are here put the entire responsibility on god's shoulders he is ready to carry everything and he is already carrying everything god works through you consider even the life breath he takes care to send it back through your lungs let's realize that he is taking care of everything and just do as he guides us from within put yourself in the hands of the higher force believe in god trust god wholeheartedly your sickness will go away because you are giving yourself in the hands of a greater doctor difficult situations may come they will give us a chance to prove our trust in a higher energy acceptance of the divine will keeps us joyful and peaceful let's not put up barriers or let our ego separate us from god open up the heart and say Lord I am little what I know is just a trifle please make use of me take me as your instrument do anything you want work through me it is your business you created me you created the world i don't know why i am here it's not my business even to ask you do anything you want god created you god sent you he has a purpose behind sending you he is using you to fulfill his purpose god is using every one of us you are all sparks of the divine images of god you are nothing less than god himself you have that divinity that goodness that peace and that perfect health that is your true nature be in constant communication with god real communion with god is communion with your fellow beings think of god and you will become divine serve love give serve and love service comes first serve with love everything on this earth has a purpose and that purpose is to serve to be useful to bring some benefit at least to somebody 
do everything in the name of god and nothing will affect you say let me not use the will i have been given to carry unnecessary burdens let me use my will to realize your will then you become a beautiful instrument in the hands of the lord the entire life becomes karma yoga you live for the sake of others serving god and his creation every minute with every breath your very work becomes your worship your every act is part of that worship of the supreme manifest as this world the dedicated ever enjoy supreme peace therefore live only to serve through caring and sharing we find ease within ourselves and among our fellow beings lead a dedicated life that way you experience the divine in yourself be a channel if anything comes pass it on do not cling if you are a good channel you won't keep anything for yourself except what you need you will pass along the rest then more things will come to you it is like a fountain that you have drawn forth the more you draw the more it comes even when you take a shower think i am washing the lord's temple i am dressing the lord's temple he is seated here i am feeding him when you go to sleep think i am putting him to sleep thus every act becomes an offering your very life becomes an offering when the cosmic consciousness is satisfied that you are really a great channel it will send you more and more you will realize the nature of god the omnipresent all merciful will work through you and you will realize that god is within having that realization you will see god everywhere in everything you will see that the entire creation is a manifestation of god you will learn to love all humanity nature animals and plants then your service to god will be service to humanity service to all the world you won't have to do anything just by being yourself you will be loving and serving god suppose you give a hundred percent what will you get 100 percent of god as you think so you become learn to control the thoughts so you can create any thought you want the world is nothing but your projection have heaven in your mind and you will see heaven everywhere correct your vision and you will see the truth everything begins in the mind to see clearly have clear vision all experiences in the world good or bad pleasurable or painful are just a matter of mental adjustment you are bound by the mind and you are liberated by the mind you are your own friend and your own enemy if your mind is a good friend to you you will see only friends everywhere but if your own mind acts like a traitor you will find few friends so make your mind your friend let it not color your vision let it not prejudice your thinking it can be a beautiful instrument with which you can understand things well if you feel bound you are bound if you feel liberated you are liberated things outside neither bind nor liberate you only your attitude towards them like the point of a drill our mind can penetrate into anything to know its secret when concentration is deep nature reveals its secrets 
the only requirement to see peace or joy or god whatever name you use is a calm peaceful mind stay away from anything that disturbs your peace of mind stay away from anything that brings disappointments anxieties and worries when you have a clean mind you know who you are you realize yourself your vision becomes spiritual until then you see only through your physical and mental eye when you see with your physical eye you see very little with the mental eye you can see much more but with the spiritual eye you see the truth discipline makes your mind stronger and one point it should not make you a slave it should ultimately help you master your mind your mind should obey you begin to control the mind by staying away from any thought that will disturb it selfish thoughts pave the way for anxiety fear and disappointments the greatest power on earth is thought force but before you make your thoughts powerful first make the mind clean if you are sometimes bothered by disturbing thoughts you do not have to drive them away or repress them just substitute another more peaceful or loving thought for the disturbing one the greatest victory you can win is the victory over your own mind liberation means being freed from the bondage of your own mind or ego you don't have to do anything to keep the mind calm it is like a bowl of water should you do anything to keep the water peaceful just leave it alone let it be calming the mind means not letting it run here and there as it wants the mind is like a mirror the spirit self or atma is like the light of a candle the soul is the reflection of the light on the mirror anyone who has a clean and calm mind will be able to reflect the image of god who am i find out who you are once you know who you are you will be the best instrument to bring peace and harmony to all ultimately you will find you are not somebody who is going up and down but that you are a permanent entity an image of god beautiful parks palaces and music await you inside why go looking for these things outside the entire cosmos is within you are the true seer you are not the body not the mind you are the knower or the seer you always see your mind or body acting in front of you you know that the mind creates thoughts distinguishes and decides the seer knows that but is not involved in it the self is the eternal never changing one it is always everywhere as the very basic substance in our ignorance we see everything as different all things are actually nothing but the self god self or blissful pure consciousness is always there you are not creating it by your meditation you need not do anything to get into it but you have to do something not to disturb that flow we are not creating god's grace but we are removing everything that prevents the grace from coming to us real enlightenment means quieting and transcending both the conscious and subconscious mind and realizing your own peace joy and eternal bliss that is christhood buddhahood you are freed from turmoil your soul is not colored or covered by anything i am unborn i am undying i am the beginning i will be in the end 
This is the infinite consciousness. This is the birthless and deathless state. You are the indweller of the entire universe. You are the light of awareness. You are the light of consciousness. Let us experience that light within and without. Let us see the same light, the same spirit, dwelling everywhere as everything. Let us walk together, talk together, live together. Spirituality means to understand the spirit. To do this, we have to rise above all the differences. For there is only one spirit, and only in spirituality can we really come together. If you feel everybody is your brother or sister, you cannot narrow yourself. You become universal and understand how to love thy neighbor as thyself. Go happily, joyfully, peacefully and share this knowledge, this spirit, this feeling with the entire world. Share it with all who come close to you, your family, your friends, neighbors, everybody. We are all part of that cosmic hum. We are all cells of the cosmic body. Let us feel that we are all the children of that one Father or the one Creator. We are interdependent, the links in the same beginningless and endless chain, the cells of a huge universal body. Come together, live together, talk together, walk together. We are all one. Haryom Tatsa Shanti Shanti Shanti